Okay, just a fair warning, I'm going to have some, there's going to be spoilers for Puss in Boots The Last Wish in this video, so if you haven't seen the movie, stop watching and go watch the movie before you watch this video. Alright, with that being said, let's get started. <coughs> so, I know I'm a little late to the game, but... Puss in Boots The Last Wish is amazing, okay? It's honestly now one of my favorite animated movies of all time. It is so good. And here are the reasons why it's good. First of all, the visual effects are beautiful. The animation style is Awesome, it's like Spider-Verse, which everyone loves Spider-Verse, it seems. And the characters are just so great. Puss in Boots, City... City. Kitty Soft Paws, Perito the Dog, Big Jack Herner, and Death. Yes. It is such a good movie. Puss wastes eight of his nine lives. And now, death is basically coming for him. Like, not metaphorically, or poetically. Straight up, death is coming for Puss. And it's so cool, because death doesn't have... A lot of screen time, but you are aware that he is there at all times once you meet him for the first time. Because when you do meet him, death basically... The first fight Puss has with death, death overpowers him. Big time. And that's when Puss discovers that... The wishing star that he thought was fake might actually be real and he can wish for his nine lives back. He also, you know, meets Polito in a retirement home who is training to be a therapy dog and is the one of the best and most innocent characters in the movie. I love Polito. Look at him. Look at Polito. I tell me you wouldn't do anything for this puppy. You can't say no to him. And Big Jack Herner is a hilarious villain, played amazingly by John Mulaney. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so anyway, we also have Goldilocks and the Three Bears as a crime family. And towards the end we find out they're not... Goldilocks isn't really a villain. So we have Puss, Kitty, Pietro... Not Pietro, that's Quicksilver. P Polito. Big Jack Turner. And Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All after the Wishing Star, which would grant one wish to someone. Puss wants that wish to get his nine lives back. Kitty wants that wish for someone she can trust. Goldie wants that wish for a human family. So, you know, pretty understandable and relatable wishes. Jack Herner wants that wish to have all the magic in the world, none for anyone else, just him. Because he was upstaged by, by Magic and Pinocchio as a child. And Perito, well, he doesn't want to wish. He just wants his friends to be happy. Because, well, he wants friends. That's all. He thinks he already has everything he needs. He says he has a pretty funny backstory, which is... When he was a puppy, he would play hide-and-seek all the time in his litter, and 
He was always it. And then one day, they put him in a sock with a rock and threw him in a river. So he chewed a hole through the sock and escaped and used that sock as now his sweater. That's his backstory. Yeah, it seems like he probably needs the wish the most, but he doesn't want it. He just wants his friends to be happy. So, Pluto is... Sopier. So they all travel, going to the wishing star. Oh, and by the way, Death is after Puss. He's chasing him, basically. So they all go to the wishing star, and they all make it through various interactions with each other. You know, Jack's killing all his men without any concern. He's a horrible, irredeemable monster. Not even his conscience could save him. Jack is just a terrible, terrible person. Big Jack Turner. So eventually everyone makes it to the wishing star. And like there's a big fight over the wish. And really the main threat is Jack because basically he lets his last person get killed. He's a monster as we know. And then when you think the day is saved and everyone is good and stuff, the good, death comes and has a final battle with Puss. Fear me if you dare. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I mean, look at this animation style. Look at this fight. It is amazing. One of the things that makes the movie great, as I said, is the events. Death is viciously going after him. So as you can see, the visuals and animation is amazing. And Death leaves Puss alone because he now values his one life. And that is the first time we basically see Puss fight for his life. And then once again, it seems th the day is saved, but then Big Jack Herner becomes Giant Jack Herner. And yeah, takes all of Perito, Kitty, Puss, and Goldilocks and the Three Bears to take him down, but they do. And that's basically the movie. It's amazing. And yeah, I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Maybe 9.5 out of 10, but still. You should go watch it again if you've seen it. And if you haven't seen it, why'd you watch this video, guys? I just spoiled everything. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch that movie, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And don't forget to tie your shoe.